Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Guide Japan. Today I am going to cover a topic that a lot of foreigners in Japan struggle with and that is updating your residence card information in your bank account without having to visit the bank in person. So here is the situation many of us find ourselves in. You have just renewed your visa, which means you got a new residence card. What most people don't realize is that when your visa status or period of stay changes, you need to update your residence card information with your bank. If you don't do this, you won't be able to do any transaction until you update your information. Many foreigners in Japan rush to the bank in person after this happens. But what a lot of people don't know is you can update your residence card information online. It's quick, convenient and saves you from the hassle of waiting in the line at the bank, especially if your Japanese language skills are not great or you don't have much time. That's why in today's video, I am going to guide you through how to easily update your residence card using your mobile phone. And it's something every foreigner should know after they renew their visa. So let's get started and walk through the entire process step by step. First, you need to download an application called Yuchio Jairu Card or Yomitori Apuri. The link is also given in the description or you can directly search Yuchio Jairu Kado Yomitori Apuri in Google Play Store or App Store. Here in the screen, the actual application that we need is the second one. It is the application from Japan Post Bank Company Limited. So you have to be careful about that. First, download the application and leave it as it is. You do not need to open an application right now. First, open the browser and paste the link from the description or you can directly go through the link. You will be redirected to this page. Here at first, you need to enter your bank account number. So enter first five digit and last eight digit number here. Now here is the most important part that many foreigners do mistakes here. You have to select the Jairu Kikan Manryobi no Goshin Koku, which means declaration of expiry date of period of stay. Here it is in the last option. So remember the kanji over there. Now select it and scroll it down and click on the green option over there. Now, if you haven't downloaded the application before, you need to download it now. As I have already told you to download, you can directly go to download the Khandrio. Now here, you have to enter your personal detail information. First, enter your name in alphabet and second, katakana. And enter your date of birth and contact detail. You can enter your mobile number. Now it's time to enter the residence card information that you have got after the extension of your visa. Now you have to select your nationality. As I am from Nepal, I select Neparu. Now in the Jairu status, if you are an international student, then select Ryugaku. Or if you have got any other visa type, then select according to it. Now it's time to select the period of stay. If you have got six months visa, then select zero in the first one and six in the second one, which means only six months. And if you have got one year visa, then select one in the first one and zero in the second one. If you have got 15 months visa, then select one in the first one and three in the second one, which means one year and three months. As I have got four years visa, I select four in the first one and zero in the second one. Now select your date of expiration according to your new Jairu card. Please do not make mistake here. Now enter your residence card number. Enter exactly what is there in your card. Now scroll it down until you got the screen to upload the Jairu card. Now upload the front side of your card. Now please be sure that all the card information in the image is readable. Now similarly upload the back side of your card and give the check mark over there. And click on next. Now check whether the entered information is correct or not. After the confirmation, now you need to open the application that you have downloaded before. To open the application, click on the blue option over there. You cannot open that application separately. You need to open it from the blue option given here. So click on it and you will be redirected to the application. Now take your residence card with you and be ready for the next step. Now after giving the check mark, click on the next option. Now enter your residence card number which is on the upper right corner of your residence card and click on the next option. Now the application need to read your residence card. So please read the position guide given in the screen. Now place your residence card towards the rear camera according to the image shown in the screen and wait for some times without moving while the device is reading your card. Now 
the card has been successfully read. Now click on the OK. Our process has not been completed yet. To complete the process, you need to open the web page from where we have gone to the application. So this is the page from where we have gone to the application by clicking the blue option. So after returning to this page, click on the Khaita Suru, the green option over there. Now most of the informations are already entered by us before, so you do not need to enter it again. Now if you are working in Japan and getting the salary, then select Hi. If you are not working, then select the second option. If you are doing part-time job, then you need to select Hi. You can ignore the option where the red mark is not present. Now select the purpose of using this account. Here I am using this account for my living expenses, so I select these options. The first one is the main purpose, but if you have additional purpose of using this account, then you can select it. If you are also using this account for your savings, then you can select this option. Now select the option what you are doing here in Japan. If you are a company worker, then select the first option, but I am a student, so I select Gakusei. Now if you want, then you can enter your company details or school details, but it is not compulsory to enter, so I ignore it. If you do not want to enter it, then scroll it down and select the green option. Red mark is given here, so you need to select any one of the options, otherwise you cannot forward the process. Here you need to select the transaction that you want to do in one month. I think 50 man to 100 man is enough for me, so I select this option. I think 500,000 yen to 1 million yen per month is enough for you if you are a student. Now in the next, you have to select up to how many transactions you would like to do in one week. As more than 3 transactions per week is needed sometime, so select the first option. Now you have to select the reason of doing the transaction in this account. It is for salary and saving, so I select these two options. Now in the next, if you have plan of doing the transaction more than 2 million, then you have to select high. If not, then select EA. I think second option is better for us as we are not going to do that much amount of transaction at once. Here I am going to select second option for all these as if you select the high, then you have to give the reason for it. After selecting this, then select the green option over there. Now if you hold more than one JP Bank account, then you have to enter the all the account number here. If you do not have, then scroll it down and select green option. Now check whether the inter informations are correct or not. After the confirmation, give the check mark and click on Khaitao Suru, the green option over there. That's it. You have successfully completed the process of updating your residence card in your bank account without ever visiting the bank. Make sure to do this as soon as you renew your visa to avoid any issue with transactions. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more useful tips about living in Japan. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.